President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi instructed the government to take immediate measures to reduce duration of electricity cuts and achieve fair distribution of them among different neighborhoods while working on ending the crisis altogether. Earlier on Tuesday, Prime Minister Mustafa Medbouli held a press conference over electricity cuts during which he said that the government was concerned about Egyptian families suffering from power cuts. He explained that temperatures rose during the past days which led to an increase in power consumption, adding that 36 gigawatts of electricity had been consumed until Monday. The Prime Minister noted that a technical electricity failure at a neighboring country that supplies the regional electricity network impacted Egypt. He said coordination with concerned ministers took place to lay out an exceptional plan for the summer to avoid power cuts. Premier Madbouli promised that power cuts would stop by the third week of July. Minister of Parliamentary Council Affairs, Councillor Ali Eddin Fouad, asserted that the government pledges before the parliament that from the 1st of July, the electricity power outage would be reduced as soon as possible. This came during a general session of the House of Representatives headed by Councillor Hanafi Gibeli on Tuesday. During the session, a number of representatives also delivered urgent statements concerning the power outage in which they urged the government to provide an alternative plan. Foreign Minister Sameh Shokri received a phone call from UN Senior Humanitarian and Reconstruction Coordinator for Gaza, Sigrid Khan. During their telephone conversation, the two officials discussed the need to increase humanitarian aid flow to Gaza in light of obstacles the Israeli occupation forces places on the entry of the aid to the Strip. Shukri expressed Egypt's rejection of some elements seizure of humanitarian aid being brought into the Palestinian Rafah, as well as the Israeli side's lack of commitment to protect it and ensure that it reaches the Palestinians. The call also tackled the current situation of Rafah crossing after the Israeli occupation forces damaged the Palestinian side of the border crossing. Minister of Interior Mahmoud Taufi sent a congratulatory cable to President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi on the occasion of the glorious anniversary of the June 30 revolution. Taufi extended his sincere expression of congratulations on the occasion to the President and the police force. He said that this celebration comes as an embodiment of the success of the will of a proud people who wrote a page of glory and immortality that will remain through the ages as a witness to the nobility of heroism. Meanwhile, General Commander of the Armed Forces General Mohammed Zaki and Armed Forces Chief of Staff Lieutenant General General Osama Askar also sent congratulatory cables to President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi on the same occasion. The first meeting of the National Alliance for Civil Development Work in a CDW was held in the Alliance headquarters. Engineer Khaled Abdelaziz was elected as the chairman of the Board of Trustees. The Alliance decided to assign Ambassador Nabila Makram to act as the executive director of the Alliance of Civil Development Work. The Health Ministry in Gaza said on Tuesday that at least 37,600 people had been killed during more than eight months of Israeli war in Gaza. The ministry said in a statement that the toll included at least 32 deaths over the past 24 hours. According to the statement, 86,200 people were injured in the Gaza Strip since October 7th.